an old trap line buddy right here. An old Fergie dog. What do you think, Ferg? Are we catching stuff? She's like, you could do better. Anyway, we're in Alabama this, this week doing a little nest predator removal. And I wanted to show you this spot and I wanted to show you a couple tricks that I've learned about trapping in the southeast. So right here we've got a big slough and a road that kind of in a hardwood kind of SMZ that leads out but this road comes down and then it wires right here and then there's another slough here so everything kind of pinches and this road is just nothing but a raccoon highway I caught one right here yesterday um, but there's a there's a raccoon trail that actually comes along right here and goes up right next to that white oak right there anyway I've got three traps here one two three just line the road that way if they come through there's no way they're not gonna smell a trap so uh, one thing or several things if you've trapped in the southeast you know that it rains quite a bit and it rained like four inches three days ago it's supposed to rain an inch tonight and then Friday we've got a big one coming they're predicting three inches so I'm running red solo cups and malicious bait of course in the in the traps and then I've got another little trick that I'll show you two tricks actually we're just full of tricks today anyway um, so it rains a lot in Alabama and there's also fire ants so this time of year which is the best time of year I think for a nest predator removal pro program because the turkeys are getting ready to go on nest here pretty soon but if you've trapped down here you know that fire ants can be an issue with almost any bait you run um, they don't bother malicious quite as bad as regular cat food because it has a lick more of a liquid on it um, and they don't seem to like it but you'll still end up getting ants in them and I don't know if you can see it there's an ant right there and this one isn't bad I don't know if you can see down in there but if you put bait in one of these traps and come back like the next day you look in there and it'll just look like dust like uh, like sawdust where they'll destroy your bait so I carry around a little one gallon or half gallon pump up sprayer with a chemical in it called bifenephrine is the the active ingredient that's in it and I just spray around the base of the trap so you could leave these out maybe for a day without anything but within a day or two the fire ants are gonna find it so I just come and use this this stuff has no scent to it and I just like I said spray around the base of the trap and that takes care of that issue so now it's gonna rain we've already got bait in there and they haven't destroyed it so I'm just gonna put this cup over it just like that it's gonna keep it from from getting wet one thing that I do also is I've got this jar of purple haze from the trap shed it's just a, a lure that I use at all not all my coyote sets but it's one that I do use and I just get a little stick and I keep it in the side by side and I just kind of I don't get a bunch of it I just put a little bit on there and then I smear the inside of the cup you can see that it's not much on there but that's gonna add just a little bit more of an attraction that cup's gonna kind of hold that scent it's gonna help drift but there you go you got a ant proof waterproof good bait in it and a little bit of a lure here to maybe carry through the wind and get them over here to it plus that red cup's gonna be just an absolute eye appeal to a raccoon but they come along they flip it off of there and they get caught super easy malicious bifenephrine purple haze and a stick because we got plenty of those but that's just a couple little things that I've learned and it works pretty well